Hey guys, welcome to Bruin Banter. We just came back from an exciting win at Arizona State University, earning our season high team score. Helping us with that win is sophomore Angie Sipra, who happens to be on the show today. Hi. She's really excited. She's just so excited to be at the show. She couldn't wait to say hi to you all. Hi. <laughs> Well, she's been doing amazing on vault and floor this season. Thank you. What has been different from this year as opposed to your freshman year? Well, my freshman year, I, I competed the first couple of meets and I ended up getting injured, so I didn't get to compete the really like pressure-filled meets. This year, I've um, been healthy and I've been competing all season long, and it's been, it's been really fun. What are you doing to stay healthy this year? This year, I got to move off campus, so I get to cook for myself, get to plan my meals. Make the big difference, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. I like to do cardio on the side, and as you know, since we go to hot yoga together. She's my yogi buddy. It's pretty cool. We do that, and I spend a lot of time with Lorita. Whew, don't we all? Lorita is our trainer, and she basically puts our bodies back together, keeps us healthy, and helps us so we can make it through the entire season. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite part about competing? Just the feeling I get stepping up onto the floor. It's like I come alive. Just so much fun. So I'm guessing floor is your favorite event. Floor is definitely my favorite event. I think anyone watching you can tell that floor is your favorite event. You really sell it and you just look so confident on that event. Oh yeah. I think that also comes from the team though. When I look over at the, like, the huddle, I just get this like, mm, I'm going to do it for you guys. So switching gears a little bit. I want to know, did you play sports growing up? Any other sports besides gymnastics? Well, I did track. I... That's probably why she's such a good tumbler. <laughs> it has really good endurance. I also I had a dream of being a motocross star. <laughs> what? <laughs> no lie. I really did. Ladies and gentlemen, the future lo motocross star. How do you train for that? Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Is that still a dream of yours? Maybe, who knows? I, I've got the flipping down, I just gotta get on a motorcycle and do the flipping on the motorcycle. Wow. Yeah. Well, we all have lofty dreams. One of mine is to become a professional basketball player. Aren't you a bit short for that? The, you know what? <laughs> Height doesn't matter <laughs> all the time. As long as you can get the basketball in the basket, that's all that matters. It's got a point. So this week, I was fortunate enough to play ball with a few of our star basketball players. And we played a few games of knockout, and Norman Powell gave me a few pointers on his signature 360 dunk. Check it out. For those of you who have witnessed our knockout game, I won one. Norman won one. Yeah, I definitely did. And who won the third one? <laughs> Sam won the third one. I got Norman Powell out on the first shot. I just like to say that. It's my claim to fame. Your accent is very intriguing. Why don't you share a little bit about that? My accent has been with me for 20 years now, and it comes from a land called England. <laughs> Get it? Land called England? <laughs> So Norman, how did you feel the knockout games went today? I mean, it's just what I do, you know, I win games, I go out there. You only won one game today, so it's not like plural, I'll just say. Well, you know, I had to let the um, friends, you know, feel what it feels like to win in a game of basketball. You know, you guys don't step out on the court every day. You taught us the 360 dunk. What do you think my potential is for making the 360 duck? Honestly, um, your timeline's pretty much over. You know, you're like 4'11". I'm not 4'11 at all, actually. 5'1 with heels. Look here, she's 4'11", okay? Not she's not going to be able to do a 360 dunk. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't have to have like a 60 inch vert, you know, to be able to jump from the floor to the rim. The rim is 10 feet high. Like, it's just not gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? Noosh, did you learn anything about basketball today? I didn't learn anything, but I did a dunk that is like on my bucket list. I was on a chair, got lifted up, and I dunked, swang on the rim. It was exhilarating. Yeah. 
I'd have to say the dunk was one of my favorite parts of today too. And definitely winning a game of knockout because I know that makes all of my people in Indiana a little bit proud. Last but not least, Norman Powell do another cartwheel. Thank you for watching Bruin Banter. UCLA champions made here. Wow, Angie, did you see that? I beat uh, Norman Powell and Nick Kazemi in knockout. I think maybe you should stick to gymnastics. Yeah, I guess for the rest of the season, I'll have to stick with gymnastics. But let's talk about some of the highlights from our last meet. We had our best team score of the entire season. Vault. Yes, you stuck. Where was that 10? I mean, and I was standing from behind, so I saw it happen right in front of me, and I was just like, she stuck it. I stuck it. Was it. Awesome. it was really great. I want to duplicate that again this weekend. But Jordan Williams also got a 995 on vault, so that was really exciting for our vault team. And then on bars, Peng anchored us off again, scoring a 995. Her bars are beautiful. Always, always. That's the event that we've been improving the most since oh, the beginning of oh, season. Yeah. So it's really promising to watch our score keep improving meet by meet. And beam, Noosh won with a 995. I think her killer dismount is still shocking people. Oh yeah. There was a group of girls standing behind me and they were freaking out. <laughs> and she came over to high five them. The one of the girls was like, I'm never washing my hands ever again. <laughs> I kid you not. A gymnastic celebrity. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows her because of that dismount. It's really amazing. And it's one of those things that you should not try at home. <laughs> and on floor, Angie won floor with a 9875. You watered down your routine a little bit to save your body. Did. Are we going to see the upgraded floor routine this weekend? Oh, yeah, for sure. And then freshman, Janae Honest broke into the floor lineup for the first time, so it was really cool to watch that happen, and you could tell how proud she was when she finished Aww, that floor routine. It was, it was so awesome to see her out there. So happy. Yeah. Hold on, my foot is cramping. Your foot's cramping. Yes. Oh Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we have an injury. <laughs> Bruin Vander's getting a little dangerous. <laughs> So it's safe to say that last weekend's meet was uh, pretty good. It was a pretty good meet. And I'm hoping this upcoming meet is going to be even better because it's going to be special for me and the other seniors. Oh, thanks. My very last competition at Poly Pavilion. Is that, is that crazy for you? It's so crazy. I mean, last year I guess I, I did have a senior night, but this one is my last and final senior night, I guess. So for Alette Craddock, Jordan Williams, and I, it's going to be a really special night. This Saturday at 4 p.m. against Stanford University in Poly Pavilion, and it is our very last home meet of the year. So I hope to see you all there because it would mean so much to our whole entire team and especially the seniors. Be there.